All right, guys, I've been waiting for this day. I wanted to come out here and try to make the best muskrat trapping series on YouTube. And man, it's gonna happen this year. I was watching this pond, I've been saving this pond. Um, I knew, I was hoping we were gonna have a good year where I'd get a couple of, you know, a little bit of clear ice where I'd go and show you the runs, show you the feed bed, show you the houses. It's happened, man. I got a couple inches of ice. Um, we got everything we need to make a kick-ass video. First part we're going to show you, part one here, is going to be locating the muskrats and where you should put your sets. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to bring my girlfriend out, she's going to film me, I'm going to show you putting in a bunch of sets. And then we'll show you uh, checking them sets and then we also got that video of skinning them and stretching them. So let me show you this pond. Here it is right here, we got a feeder hut there, got a couple feeders there, there. Uh, we got some feeders on the other side. I got a muskrat house over there. So this is going to be perfect to show you. Now a couple things guys. It's up to your own discretion if you want to win and when you want to walk on this ice. I'm a chubby little shit so I had to make sure it was plenty thick. But let's start over here. Feed beds. Not muskrat houses. They're feed beds. How do you know they're active? Well, you see all them bubbles right there? That's muskrats coming in here to feed. Um, they don't have a real distinct trail coming into here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and put some feeder sets. I'll probably put a feeder set right there and a feeder set right there and that's how I'd trap that one. And we'll come over here and again, you know, you guys gotta make sure this ice is safe and you're confident. And when you're checking these houses and feeder huts, be careful because the ice is really thin in spots. All right, right here we got a real good spot. You can see the bubble trail. And that's where the muskrats are coming from. And they're coming over here to feed. I would suspect they probably have a den, a bank den or something right out there. And then they probably have another bank den right there. I got some easier spots to try to back then. So that's what we're going to go look at right now. Hey, guys, listen. Every bubble you see is not a friggin' muskrat. Okay, here's another uh, feeder bed. As you can see, brrrt, bubble trail there, bubble trail there. I would, uh, I'm would. i going to set two feeder sets right in there. So let's keep moving. All right, here's just another awesome little feed bed. Got a nice trail going in there to the shore. Got a nice trail going in here to shore. Um, on these, I'm going to try to find, they, they obviously have a bank den here, and it's up in here somewhere. Um, if you can't find it, don't worry about it, man. Just set the, set the feed bed. There, you know, just, that's all you got to do. So, well, I can't find that. I know there's some easier spots to set some bank dens and some trails, so that's what I'm going to look for, and that's where I'm going. Oh, right here. Right here is a bank den, how I can tell. I got quite a few bubbles in one little spot. You know, they're going out here, they kind of spread out. But if you can see down in there, that water is muddy. Uh, what happens there is the muskrats are going in and out, and I'm assuming there's a hole. But I'm gonna put a 110 conibear right there in that trail. So that's a great spot, man. Let's keep going to show you. We got a feed bed right up here on shore. Now they're going to be hitting this feed bed. I can see the bubble trail right there. They're not hitting it very hard. Um, and it's not a real, doesn't have a real good trail system. But I come out here, and here's a lot of bubbles right here in this area. And it's coming right from, right down from that feed bed. So right here, um, I, I'm assuming there's probably a bank den somewhere in there. I can't see it. I don't, I don't know. It's pretty deep water. I don't think they would have one here. Um, but what I'll do is I'm gonna set a feeder set right there. That's a great spot, man. Great spot. Hey guys, so here's what I'm looking for for putting in a in a kind of bear in a run. This is a run. You can see the bubbles. You can see the clear water. That right down there. Put a 110 in there. Bingo, bus crack. Maybe set two there. That spot's so good. So if you can't. Uh, you know, you've got to try to get out and kind of scout these spots before the ice kind of mark them runs a little bit if you can. But uh, I've been wanting to 
show you guys exactly what you need to be looking for. So if you can just imagine that the ice is off, you know, you're not going to have them bubbles, but you'll be able to, uh, you'll be able to tell what's going on. There we go, guys. Another great spot for, uh, it's another run. You can see it coming in there. You can see how the ice is clear. You can see the air bubbles right in there. Great spot right there for a 110 conibear. Comes up here. I'd put another one right in there. And somewhere in there they got a they got a bank down. So another great spot. So we we'll just keep rocking and rolling another here. Good early ice spot. You can see the clear ice. You can see the air bubbles. They're coming in here. And here's just a little feed bed. This is why you want to get here early. You want to get these feed beds that are close to shore. Pretty soon the ice is going to be a foot thick and the muskrats are going to abandon that feed bed. And they got feed beds out in the middle of this thing all over, I guarantee you. So the later it gets, the harder it is going to be to catch these guys. So early ice, I like to come in, roll into a pond like this, bring as many traps as I can, hit it as hard as I can for a couple of days, and then get out and move on to a new spot. Because like I said, once that ice starts getting fairly thick, they're going to be gone away from shore. So here we go. I mean, if you guys got bad ice that you can't see through like this is, you can see it kind of changes here. It's still what you want to look for right there, muskrat run. It's going to be, if, if you get bad ice and you get out there early enough, you're still going to be able to find these runs because the, the ice will be cloudy and then muskrats will keep a spot that's clear because they're going to keep that, they're going in and out of there. You can see he's running right out there. They're going to go in and out of there and that ice is going to be, uh, it's not going to ice up as quick as the other ice. So that's what you want to look for when the ice is cloudy. So let's, I hope I'm not boring you guys, but I want to show you as many spots and situations as I possibly can. Well, these conditions are so ideal for showing it. You just want to walk along these edges and look for them kick killer, killer spots. So, uh, that's pretty good. We showed you the runs. We showed you the feed beds. As you can see, I'm way on the other side of the pond. I, I mean, this pond right here, the way it looks, I'll probably come in here with no less than a dozen 110s. And I'm going to set some uh, one and a half coil springs for feed sets too, to show you that. But my primary trap is going to be a conibear, a 110. That's usually what I use. I don't mess around with the 110 or the, the coil springs, but I know some of you guys got them from coon trapping, so I'm going to show you how to use them. Um, as you can see, I'm way on the other side of the pond. I'm going to run over here, the other side here real quick. Uh, I already walked this pond once, so I know what we all got here. Not much going on on this side. So I'm going to run over there. I'm going to show you a muskrat house. And... Uh, and then, like I said, tomorrow we're going to set this bad boy up and we're going to catch us a bunch of muskrats. I'm excited. Woo! <laughs> I love muskrat. Here's a muskrat house. Uh, makes it a little bit different than a feed get. It's got a lot of the bigger material in it, bigger cattails, stuff like that. If you were to open this thing up, there'd be a chamber in the inside that the muskrats come in and that's where they, they kind of eat and sleep and that's where they live. Um, one thing you want to look for these muskrat houses, they got one, two, three, sometimes three places that they come into them. This one has one, and it's right there. And as you can see, this is what you got to be careful of when you come out here and you can't see through the ice. That's a really clear ice. That's where they're coming in, um, and that ice is a lot thinner. If you was to happen to come along here and find this muskrat house, and they, let's just say it's froze over and there's a little bit of snow and you can't see through the ice, and you walk around this, almost guaranteed you're going for a swim right there that ice is thin and that ice is very very weak so uh we can come around here you can see their bubble trail they're coming out of there but in wisconsin you can't molest a muskrat house um i know some states they chop a hole in there and they'll set a trap right where they come out i think that's a bunch of waste of time a lot of work and i don't believe in messing with them where they live uh, right in their house. What I'd do is I'd set a conibear right down there. I kind of open that up a little bit, feel around in my hand, see if I can find the hole. Um, 
but I, I'm, I'm not going to do that here. I don't want to mess with them too bad. Uh, what I'll do is I see this bubble trail goes right out here. I'll just take, come right over here. Ice is plenty thin. I got lots of water. I'll just put a conner bear right there with a carrot on it and boom, 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 or an apple or a potato and what happens. That's it, guys. That's uh, pretty much location, location on the muskrats. That's pretty much all a beginner should need to know. Plenty of information there to go out and start catching them. So I'm going to head back to the truck, get home, start tuning up the traps, be ready to go tomorrow. Um, like I said, I'll have my girlfriend come out here. She can film me. I'll show you how to make these sets. So see you, in the, see you on the next video. This is what you want to find on clear ice. You want to chase some muskrats down. You see them? He's under there just to give her. Oh, turn around. You follow these guys, and they will take you right to their den. There he goes. He's right there. This is awesome. This is what I want to get you guys and show you. Okay. There he goes. He's heading towards shore. That's what you want him. He'll take you right to his den. You'll know right where to go. You'll know right where to set a trap. Bingo. There it is. See all the bubbles? Awesome. Hey, let me tell you something, guys. This is on a big, populated lake up by me. And I come out here, and I set one or two sets at these lakes, because I know there's muskrats. Most of them, the lakes got a little wild section like that. They got some weeds growing on. This baby, right next to the boat launch. Check it out. So there you go. We're going to get a muskrat on that spot. Pretty confident. Let's take a quick walk around. So don't rule out any lakes, guys. Any lake will work. Um, just try to get them scouted out. You know, if you can't get them uh, scouted before the ice, go out there in a canoe or a boat and check it out. So, all right, that's it. Oh, look at that. Muskrat house on the point. Never even noticed that. Got to head over there and check that out. We're going to get a bonus on this muskrat video. Um, I just came back out on a spot that I, I haven't checked in years. And uh, just so happens we got some beaver in here. So we're going to get bonus beaver footage on here now hey i'm not a huge beaver trapper trapper um, i probably caught 20 in my whole life don't really target them but i'll tell you what all they are is a giant friggin muskrat so here we go this is their dam or their den their house they got it built up here it don't even look different but if you can see they're coming out right there and now you start to see these big sticks and you follow this bubble trail and uh, I will probably make two kinds of sets here. I'm going to make one. I'm going to put a 330 probably in the bottom of that run. But he comes out here, and here's his feed bed. You guys can see all these sticks stacked in here really nice. Birch and popple. And so that's his feed bed. And then he's got another, another run that comes out here. Um, just like here. And he's got another feed bed out here. So, hey, in these spots, I mean, you can come in here and you can trap and set your traps and just keep going until you catch every friggin' beaver. Um, I'm probably going to take two beaver out of this spot and then I'm going to let it go in hopes that I can come here pretty much every year and catch a beaver. This is not far from my house. But uh, here's what we're looking at. I was out here checking for muskrats. And amazing, there just ain't no muskrat sign here. But right there, that's it. That's that beaver lodge right there, and his runs are right there. So, um, tomorrow when we set for muskrats, we're going to come out here, I'm going to set that. I don't know if I'm going to put a 330 in the run there. Um, I know for sure I'm going to take and set a 330 feed set just like uh, I do for muskrats. So, we're going to get some beaver, pretty confident about that. And we're going to catch a pile of muskrats, pretty confident about that. So, stay tuned.